The Billy Goat's Gruff. The three Billy Goat's Gruff were hungry. They wanted to reach the lush mountain grass on the other side of the river. Unfortunately, first they had to cross a bridge, and under this bridge there lived a great ugly troll. He had eyes as wide as saucers, a nose as long as a poker, and a huge appetite for juicy billy goats. Me first, said the youngest and smallest billy goat when they reached the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went his hooves as he went across the wooden slats. Then a booming voice made the whole bridge shudder. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's only me, the smallest billy goat gruff, crossing over to reach the lush grass. Oh, no, you're not, roared the voice. I'm coming to gobble you up. And the ghastly troll heaved himself onto the bridge. No, no, don't eat me, begged the little billy goat. My brother's coming next. Why don't you wait for him? He's much bigger and juicier than me. The troll reluctantly agreed and slunk back under the bridge, leaving the little billy goat to gamble towards the tasty green grass. Moments later, the second, larger billy goat gruff came. Trip, trap, trip, trap across the wooden slats. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? boomed the fearsome troll. It's only me, the medium-sized billy goat gruff crossing over to reach the lush grass. Oh, no, you're not, roared the troll, heaving himself back onto the bridge. I'm going to eat you up. No, no, don't eat me, cried the second billy goat. My big brother's coming next, and he's even bigger and juicier than me. You should definitely wait for him. The troll agreed, even more reluctantly than before and slunk back under the bridge, leaving the second billy goat to trot over to the tasty grass. Not long after, the third, even larger, billy goat came, trip, trap, trip, trap, across the wooden slats. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Boomed the troll with glee. It's me, the biggest billy goat gruff. Then I'm coming to eat you up, roared the troll climbing onto the bridge. Oh, no, you're not, replied the third billy goat, lowering his horns and charging at the troll. With a toss of his head, he flung the ugly troll into the rushing water below. As the troll floated away down the river, the largest billy goat gruff of all stomped off to join his brothers in the lush mountain grass. The end. The Three Little Pigs There were once three little pigs who lived with their mother, but they grew and grew as little pigs do until they grew too big for their mother's house. So they went out into the world to find homes of their own. They trotted along happily until they met a man selling bundles of straw. Look, squeaked the first pig, I'm going to build a straw cottage. And he did. The other pigs trotted on until they met a man selling sticks. Look, grunted the second pig, I'm going to build a wood cabin. And he did. Straw and sticks are all very well, snorted the third pig, but I want something stronger. So she walked on until she met a man selling bricks. Great, she shouted, I'm going to build a house of bricks. Bricks are much stronger than straw. They're stronger than sticks too. But gosh, that's going to be hard work. It took a long time, but at last her house was finished. She crept inside and fell asleep. The very next day, a big bad wolf was passing the straw house. As he was passing, he saw the first pig inside. Mmm, breakfast, he thought. He rapped on the door and called out, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. But the pig had seen who it was, not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin, he cried. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the wolf. He took a deep breath. Huff. The straw walls wobbled. Puff. They blew completely away. 
the first pig squealed and ran to his brother's house. The wolf was hot on his heels. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, snarled the wolf. Huff, the wood creaked. Puff, it cracked. Huff, it split into splinters. The two pigs squealed and raced to their sister's house. The wolf was right behind them. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Huff, puff, huff, puff, nothing. The bricks were simply too strong. The wolf refused to give up. In two bounds, he leapt onto the roof and shot down the chimney. Splash! He had landed in the cooking pot. The little pigs slammed on the lid, and that was the end of him. As for the three pigs, they lived together in the strong brick house happily ever after. The end. Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, there were three bears. A great big papa bear, a medium-sized mama bear, and a tiny baby bear that lived quietly in their cottage in the middle of the woods. One morning, they went for a walk before breakfast, leaving the door unlocked because they didn't expect a visitor at such an early hour. This was a big mistake. That very day, Goldilocks was exploring the woods. She was an inquisitive, naughty little girl with bright golden curls all over her head. What a lovely cottage, smiled Goldilocks. She pushed the door open and saw three bowls of porridge laid on the table. Mmm, she murmured hungrily, taking a spoonful from the biggest bowl. It was so hot, she spat it straight back out. Next, she tried the medium-sized bowl but that was too cold. Finally, she tried the porridge in the tiniest bowl, and that was so delicious, she ate it all up. Feeling full, she decided to sit down. First, she tried the biggest chair, but the cushion was way too hard. Then she settled in the medium-sized chair, but that one was way too soft. At last, she jumped into the tiny chair. It was exactly right, but, as she landed so hard, it broke into a million pieces. Oops, said Goldilocks, giggling, and she decided to go upstairs. There was only one bedroom with three different sized beds. Each bed was made up with smooth, clean sheets and looked inviting. Goldilocks leaped into the biggest bed, but it was far too hard. Then she tried the medium sized bed. That's way too soft, she said, kicking off the sheets. But I'm sure the tiny one will be perfect. She snuggled down and fell fast asleep. She slept so soundly, she didn't hear the three bears coming back. Someone's been tasting my porridge, roared Papa Bear. And mine, wailed Mama Bear. While Baby Bear, staring sadly at his empty bowl, squeaked, someone's been eating my porridge, and they've eaten it all up. Next, they saw the chairs. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, cried Mama Bear. Baby Bear just howled. Someone's been sitting in my chair, he sobbed, and now it's all broken. They raced upstairs to their bedroom and found rumbling sheets all over the floor. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she's still here, screamed Baby Bear. Goldilocks woke with a start, feeling the bear's hot breath on her face, their growls, shudders, and screams echoing in her ears. She jumped out of bed, ran down the stairs, and tore out of the door, never stopping till she was safe in her own home. The three bears never saw her again, but whether she was cured of her inquisitive or naughty nature, 
nobody knows. The end.